Hey guys, Crockbus Studios here with another tutorial. Um, today we will be making a Minecraft server banner, um, and this is what we will be making. It, it has a simple animation, and it slides through four features. But the techniques that you will learn in today's video can be applied to way more, way more situations. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, first let's go to File, and then New, and then I already have a Minecraft server banner profile preset set up, but um, the width should be 468 pixels, and the height should be 60 pixels. And then resolution set to 72, color mode RGB, background contents, um, it can be anything, but let's set to um, black and and now name the preset I mean by s click save preset and Minecraft server banner I've already done that um, so I'm not going to do it again and then it'll be here so you can just select it and you won't have to type in all that info so um yeah, let's name our project. Let me set that. Okay, and then let's do Minecraft banner. Okay. Press Command Zero to bring it um, closer to you to fit the frame. And now let's begin by getting an image from Google. Let's look for um, let's look for an alien. All right, uh, this one looks pretty good, and it's a PNG. Perfect. See the checkerboard pattern means. Um, it's a transparent background, so that'll be easy. We won't have to extract it. So let's view image, save image to downloads. Let's go back to Photoshop and then do file, place embedded, downloads, alien, and then place. And let's, um, that's a good size, so let's um, move it over here. We'll animate it in a little bit. Um, but let's move it over there for now. And then click the check mark to confirm. Okay. Now let's add some text. So you just um, click with the text tool and click once on your document. Start typing. Alien MC. Um, Command A to highlight the text, and then you can drag on the slider or you can click down the arrow and s to scale it down and change the font color to, um, let's choose a um, nice, oh, the red looks nice, or the blue, either one. Let's do that. Um, we can also change the font. Uh, let's, let's do, um, Hmm. Oh, abduction. This is the font that I got off um, defont.com. Um, yeah, that has that site has a lot of fonts, and so yeah, and it's free, and I can link you to it if you would like. So let's do put that there. Oh, and actually. Let's move it up a little bit so we'll have room for the IP. And then let's um, get some more text. Click beneath it and do play.alienmc.com. Let's highlight that and shrink it down. And then change that font to something more readable. Because the IP has to be super readable. And let's change the color 
to, um, oh, that's a nice blue. And let's reposition that to right there. Perfect. Okay, now we need to make a shape. So, how we're going to do that is, um, we are going to make a rectangle. And let's set the fill to yellow. No, let's set the fill to orange. And the stroke, none. And just draw out a rectangle. And use your move tool to reposition it. That looks pretty good. Oh, and now let's draw out a circle, an ellipse, as you call it. Hold down the shift key, and, and then hold down, while holding down the shift key, hold down the space bar to reposition the circle. And then, just like that. Okay, I'm back, and I figured out how to merge them. Um, I had to um, make the circle and the rectangle on two separate layers, then right click, and then I did merge layers. And then, um, yeah, and then it let me combine them. Now we need to make four more, uh, three or four more um, text layers. So let's do that now. Um, let's click once and then do feature number one let's um oh whoops no let's um scale that up Let's set it to white. And then that looks good. Let's um move that into position. Perfect. And let's click the check mark. And now we can just um, duplicate this layer. Let's call it feature two. And duplicate, and let's move that up here. That's feature two. No, actually move it up there. And then move feature one right here. And duplicate feature two. Feature three, move that one up, and the three three should be good for now and get the point across. Okay, so now we have our features. So now it's time for animating. Let's go to Window Timeline, create. Um, let's create video timeline, and there we go. There's, now if you're familiar with keyframing, this will be, be very simple for you. But let's start one layer at a time. We want to start with, um, let's start with the alien. Select the alien layer and then Click the little stopwatch next to transform to set a keyframe there. Let's move it, let's start it off frame right there. So now the keyframe automatically adjusted to set the location of the alien at frame zero off frame. So now let's skip ahead a few frames, 15 frames to be exact. 
that'll be that'll be thirty that'll be half a second. Fifteen frames is half a second. So now let's um move it over to where we want it at half a second. And let's put it right there. So now we have a nice little animation right there. Okay, so now let's do where we're done with the alien. Now let's do the um, the t the alien MC text. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. we but this time we're gonna we're gonna go back to frame zero. Click the transform clock, stopwatch, and then go up with that. Let's go to frame 15 and then bring it down. And look, there's our second animation. All right, now let's close that and then do the IP address. Click the transform um, stopwatch. Move it down. Go to frame 15. And then move it up. Okay. There we go. That's looking really good. Okay, now for the fun part. Okay, I'm back. Um, so let's... Um, Start at frame zero, click the um, vector mask position stopwatch, uh, slide it all the way to the right off screen. Um, and now go to frame 15, and then slide it all the way to where it snaps to the edge. There we go. And now we got all, a nice animation with things coming from all directions. Okay, now for the fun part. We're going to make a constant scrolling list of features. So leave your, um, leave the thing at frame 15. And now let's do feature one. We want to do transform stopwatch. So, um, set the, set the um, keyframe right there at frame 15 off screen. And now, let's skip forward one second to, so 30 frames. And let's um, drag it down to the opposite end. And let's preview that. Okay, I think that'll be good. Oh, maybe that's a little too fast. So let's um, drag it to um, two and a half seconds. Perfect. I think that will be good. All right. Now at frame two minutes, I mean two seconds, um, make sure the red line is there. Now let's select feature two. And then the transform. And then we want that to be um, right about here at two seconds. So now let's go forward. Um, we want um, one and a half seconds. think. 
Yeah. One. One and a half seconds, yes. And now let's drag that all the way down. Okay. Oh, we forgot to change what the title says, but it's fine. All right, we got that. Now leave the red line at um, three and a half seconds. And let's do feature three. And click the transform um, stopwatch. If you need to zoom out there, you can. We want it to be about here at the three and a half second mark. Okay, and so now let's fast forward to um, right there. And then we want it to be off, off screen down here. So perfect. So let's try, let's watch it from the beginning. One, feature two, feature three. And there, there's the actual speed of it since it rendered. I think that looks really, really good. Now, um, yeah. I think that looks good. So um, if you enjoy, let's let's show you how to save it now. Uh, just do Command S. Save it wherever you want. Let's save it to our downloads. Um, and make sure it says PSD so you can go back and edit it later. All right, now we got to do Save for Web. And make sure you choose, um, let's do uh, 128 dithered and see where that, see how big it is. It doesn't look like it's very big, so, um, yeah, I think that'll, uh, that'll be pretty good for us. But um, there's a lot of settings here. I won't explain what they all do, but um, it basically, um, makes the file size, it increases the file size, which settings you, depending on which settings you do. So let's uh, preview our animation here. Oh, and we want to check the looping options forever. So make sure it loops forever. And so let's preview it. Oh, it's going to go pretty slow until it renders. But um, yeah, that's what it'll look like. Um, so let's stop that and then save it. And now it's Minecraft banner dot gif. Let's save it to our downloads and click save. And now I'll preview it for y'all. Here it is. And it clocked in at 75 kilobytes. So that is plenty, plenty um, small, small enough to, for any Minecraft server list. So, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please um, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And um, that's, that's all for now.